here. Today we are going to take a look at some of the healthiest drinks for your kidneys. What truly really sets these teas and juices apart is their outstanding abundance of antioxidants. The result you can get from adding more antioxidants is absolutely phenomenal, says science. Here is an exciting fact that many may not know. Today's scientific consensus is that the more antioxidants you consume, the higher your chances of starting to lower your creatinine levels and avoiding the risk of ending up tied to a machine. This is why you want these 5 drinks in your daily eating plan. Yes, antioxidants truly are the next big thing about CKD. A lot of research is being done about antioxidants today because many scientists believe that a higher intake can truly benefit every single kidney disease sufferer. And the reason is clear. The way diseases such as diabetes and high blood pressure progress and damage the kidneys is a process called oxidative stress, which is caused by free radicals. And antioxidants can defeat these free radicals by literally switching them off. This will greatly decrease the rate at which oxidative stress damages the kidneys. To achieve this, you need enough antioxidants in your everyday eating plan for them to be able to overcome the amount of free radicals involved in the progression of CKD. So that is what I want to share with you today, the top 5 best drinks to hugely increase your antioxidant intake and rejuvenate your kidneys by years. Don't miss our number one in particular because that's one of the most powerful antioxidants on earth you absolutely want in your diet and it can really lower creatinine levels significantly. Before that, an amazing juice that combines the power of antioxidants with the ability of this superfood of decreasing hypertension. Let's take a look. Number 5. The Beet Juice This is a super easy juice to make that packs a huge amount of benefits. So if you have one of these juicer machines lying around, it's now time to make it shine. We will use it to juice a few fresh ingredients and make a wonderful drink. But if you don't have one, don't worry, these veggies also work in a standard blender. Let's make it now. First, you want one large beet. I use pre-cooked beets because I can find them in the refrigerator island of the supermarket year-round, but you can also use fresh beets. Just chop one and juice it. One of the great things about beet juice is that you can feel the effects in as little as 3 hours. You see, this small veggie right here is not just a wonderful source of antioxidants, it can actually lower your blood pressure, says science. In a double-blind study, hypertensive test subjects who consume beetroot juice every day experience a significant reduction in blood pressure. Experts say it's the high concentration of nitrates in beets that is responsible for the benefits. The nitric oxide then relaxes blood vessels and dilates them, which helps the blood flow more easily and lowers blood pressure. Let's juice one. Next, another antioxidant powerhouse we want to add is an apple. This simple fruit packs many health benefits. Apples contain a variety of phytochemicals including quercetin, catechine, and chlorogenic acid, all of which are strong antioxidants. And this is great because you can drink this juice every day to achieve both targets of improving your blood pressure and your antioxidant status. Let's slice and juice this apple. Next, another superfood I can't live without, ginger. Ginger is loaded with antioxidants and can really help. This superfood also directly fights the inflammation in the body and it actually has a superpower. It can stop nausea as soon as it appears. Yes, a huge amount of benefits from a simple drink. Now, as I was saying, you can also make this juice in a blender. Simply combine the beet, apple, and ginger with half a cup of water, 
give or take, and blend on the highest setting for about 60 seconds. For the best results, mm. drink 1 to 2 cups every day at meals. It tastes great and I like it. And it's a million times healthier than store-bought fruit juice. No added sugar in here. And if you're looking for sustained reduction in hypertension, drink at least that much on a daily basis. Research found out that drinking this juice regularly can make the benefits more powerful over time. Remember to monitor your blood pressure regularly to see how much it improves. And this juice will also greatly help improve your antioxidant levels. Question, why are antioxidants so important for people with CKD? Antioxidants are crucial for individuals with CKD because they combat oxidative stress, a common factor in CKD progression. Oxidative stress occurs when there is an imbalance between the production of harmful free radicals and the body's ability to counteract their harmful effects. This can lead to inflammation and damage to the kidneys, making CKD progress faster. It's not by chance that most people with CKD have been observed suffering from an imbalance between free radicals and antioxidants. By neutralizing these harmful free radicals, antioxidants can help protect the kidneys, slow disease progression, and reduce inflammation. Yes, science says that if we can drastically reduce oxidative stress, CKD is going to go much slower. Let's take a look at this study for a moment. Now, this you see here is the result of a very significant review of studies conducted on 1979 participants, including dialysis and non-dialysis CKD from all cause and transplant receivers. And the results obtained with antioxidant therapy were outstanding. In average, test subjects achieved an incredible 1.10 mg per gl reduction in creatinine levels and end-stage kidney disease was significantly delayed. Now guys, when it comes to getting more antioxidants in the diet, there's nothing like a good cup of tea. Research shows that a whopping 79% of the antioxidants we get every day is from beverages. So it will be only wise to consider drinking more teas and coffee on a daily basis as they're naturally our main source of antioxidants. Only one problem with that, adding too much caffeine is not a good idea because it can make hypertension worse in some people. Here are some low caffeine or caffeine free teas you can buy at grocery store that will give you a significant boost in antioxidant levels. Green tea. Green tea is lower in caffeine than coffee and black teas and it boosts a comparable amount of antioxidants. And according to studies, green tea may also help fight diabetes. People who drank 6 or more cups of green tea daily were 33% less likely to develop type 2 diabetes than people who drank just 1 cup per week. Just don't ship out. Buy green tea from reputable brands only. Cheaper ones have been found containing fluoride, not something you want to drink every day. Another tea you want to consider to drink every day is hibiscus tea. Caffeine-free, this tea is not just a great source of antioxidants, it comes with one huge benefit, it fights hypertension. And you will be surprised at the huge results this simple tea can give you. A review of studies found that hibiscus tea decreased blood pressure by an average of 7.58 over 3.53 millimeters of mercury. Incredible! And this makes a viscous tea one of the healthiest teas you can find at the grocery store. But maybe there is something even better that you already have in your pantry. Chamomile tea. Chamomile tea doesn't just help with hypertension thanks to its calming effect. It's also a rich source of antioxidants. Chamomile tea contains the antioxidant apigenin, which may help lower inflammation and reduce the risk of diseases. And research is also linking this amazing tea to improvement of glycemic and lipid profiles in people with diabetes. These results are especially powerful when it comes to fighting the complications of T2D, such as kidney disease.
Not to mention that chamomile tea may help you sleep better, also crucial to protect the kidneys. Only one tea has more benefits than this one, in my opinion. We'll see it in a moment. Before that, some good news about another antioxidant source many people may want to add to their eating plan after learning about its benefits. Number 3. Cranberry Juice it was believed for ages that cranberry juice was a possible treatment or at least a preventive measure against UTIs. Today, we finally have proof that cranberry juice actually works. In this study, researchers pulled together data from 50 studies with 8,857 participants and were able to prove that Drinking the juice reduced the risk of having repeat UTIs by more than 25%. People who were susceptible to a repeat UTI after antibiotics saw a 53% reduction. Now, this is great because UTIs are horrible and very common, especially among people with kidney or bladder issues, unfortunately. To make things worse, you would also need to be very careful with antibiotics if you have kidney disease. While most UTIs are effectively and pretty quickly treated with antibiotics, unfortunately, in some people, UTIs keep coming back. And you really don't want to take antibiotics regularly if you care about your kidneys. So, learning that a juice made from cranberries, an antioxidant powerhouse, may be an effective way to prevent UTIs from coming back is actually great news. Guys, if you need to know more about how to beat UTIs naturally, this video up here and also down in the description is for you. Time now to see the most powerful tea when it comes to antioxidants. Number two is corn silk tea not as easy to find as the teas we have seen before corn silk tea is a very promising help for those with kidney issue according to recent studies you see the extract from this amazing natural product seems to have an incredible effect on the glomeruli the filtering units inside the kidneys Researchers believe that the pollen antioxidants in corn silk work on a molecular level to repair the lining of the bladder and urinary tubules to reduce irritation and increase urine secretion. This amazing effect may be due to the rich antioxidant profile of corn silk. Corn silk is rich in phenolic compounds, particularly flavonoids. And while this effect was seen on rats, both serum creatine and urea were improved in studies on corn silk. While more studies are needed before this amazing tea may be considered a daily drink, many are already enjoying its benefits. People use corn silk for edema as a diuretic for prostate disorder and urinary infections, as well as hypertension and diabetes. Corn silk is considered safe. The only known unwanted effect it may have is lowering potassium levels, so be careful. Okay guys, time for our number one, one of the most powerful antioxidants out there. I'm talking about the vitamin that was used in a breakthrough trial that proved the efficacy of this antioxidant on creatinine levels and GFR. I'm talking about Number one, tocopherol, the natural form of vitamin E. There's been a lot of talking about vitamin E recently in the world of nephrology, and today, a vitamin that has been forbidden forever seems to be not just beneficial, but a possible treatment. What the recent study found out is that this vitamin may significantly reduce creatinine levels and significantly improve GFR in those with diabetic kidney disease. And I know that this is a vitamin, not a drink. But since today's video is all about antioxidants and vitamin E is one of the most powerful antioxidants on earth, I decided to include it. Now guys, this is not a vitamin I recommend supplementing. Instead, I believe you should get more of it from foods. And I've explained how to do exactly that in my video up here. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all.